role is to see the hidden truth that lies beneath each battle. Zhuge Liang marches north to fulfill the dreams of the late Liu Bei. However, he faces a counterattack by Sima Yi and dies at Ujiang Plains before he is able to push his way through. His successor, Jiang Wei, is left with no choice but to stabilize domestic affairs for a time. Wu, who had joined Xu in an attack on Wei, was in similar circumstances. Troops and commoners were exhausted thanks to the continuous fighting, and time was required to restore Wu's strength. With the attack by Wu and Xu ending in failure, Wei has a moment of peace from attacking enemies. However, there was one enemy Wei had to deal with during this period. Why is he suddenly leaving everything to brother to take care of? Maybe father just can't be bothered with it all anymore. Wang Yuanji. She was the daughter of the Wei senior vassal Wang Su and possessed a deep knowledge of both politics and military matters. As a result, she was tasked by Sima Yi with watching over his son, Sima Zhao. During the time of the Three Kingdoms, Gongsun Yuan of Liaodong rose in rebellion against Wei. Sima Yi was ordered to put down the rebellion and place his son, Sima Shi, in charge of the army. However, he was at his wit's end on what to do with Shi's younger brother, Sima Zhao. The time had come for Wan Yuanji to carry out the duty for which she had been chosen. Uh. What's with the sighing, Yuanji? You tired? Master Zhao, I believe you are being facetious on purpose now. Censoring you every time you must speak is starting to become tedious. Oh. Sorry. But I really feel like everyone's just trying too hard. You know? The previous emperor, father, brother, even Gong Sun Yuan, and the people of Shu. There's no need to create conflict where there is none. <laughs> That's true. If every kingdom were led by one as laid back as you, I doubt very much whether this land would be in such a state of war. Oh, Jia Chong. Where have you been lately? I didn't see you in Luo Yang. I've had certain matters to attend to, but those are finished now. I will participate in a campaign against Gong Sun Yuan. But I should warn you, Zhao. You need to be careful. Up until the Wu Zheng Plains, we survived on Master Sima Yi's quick thinking, but there are those now who despise the Sima clan. But there are also those who see us as the hope for the future. The kingdom is on the verge of being split in two, and I don't like it. Then you must support Master Shi to ensure that the kingdom stays together. I am sure he is counting on you. You think so? My brother's pretty capable of doing everything on his own. I don't think he needs my help. 
That's just another excuse for you to avoid work. I'm keeping a close eye on you, you know, to make sure you're not getting too lazy. <laughs> I'll offer what help I can, too. All you need to do is show some gratitude. Thank you. Both of you. Gong Soon Yuan seems to have rejected our demands for him to surrender. What a fool he is, digging his own grave like that. There is no reason for us to keep him alive anymore. If we show him mercy, it will only hurt us in the end. The best solution for Wei is to respond uncompromisingly. That's your solution, is it? I must say, you're more decisive than your father. I can't imagine who you take after. Brother, Wu has responded to Gong Sun Yuan's request for help. The Wu forces have been divided in two and are advancing towards us. They intend to strike us from the rear. This could be a major problem. Do not worry, Zhao. Wu will be troublesome, to be sure. But it is not as if the movements of each unit will be perfectly coordinated. Depending on how they attack, we may be able to use that against them. We must remain calm and observe the enemy closely. Nice thinking, brother. I'll give all I have to make sure your first battle in charge goes without a hitch. She, I look forward to seeing what you can accomplish. Of course, it goes without saying that you must not bring shame upon our family's reputation. The enemy is in Xiangping Castle! We must slay Gong Sun Yuan and quell this rebellion! Time for your punishment!
enemy pass through here. We must defend it with our lives. <laughs> to break through our defenses. We must launch our siege weapons and strike back! Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Cease to amaze me. when backed into a corner. They really fought tooth and nail to keep this place safe. I knew this battle was a bad idea. Time for your punishment!
on in here. Come again. Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! is a success. Report! Lord Dingfeng has retreated from the encampment. This plan that will never work without Master Dingfeng. It will be difficult, but we must overcome this situation. Our archers on the ships are hitting their targets. This will give us a considerable advantage for this battle. You're becoming a nuisance. The defenses here are stretched thin. We must bolster them at all costs. I should have known that I couldn't carry out the strategy on my own. 
I am forced to fall back for now and to regroup. The forces of U have been seen off. I think they did have some sort of plan. Well, who cares? Resist the enemy from within the castle, everyone. We must make this a test of stamina and wait the enemy out. Everyone attack! Charge in from the undefended seaward side! What's that? The way forces are attacking from the west? Have they come by boat? I must say. Time most for your impressive. Let us go and remove this eyesore that is the enemy base. Everyone, to defend this area. Let us go and remove this eyesore that is the enemy base. daughter like you, instead of my sons. I can fight as well as anybody when backed into a corner. The castle. May the Sima clan be cursed for all eternity! Xiong Ping has fallen. Victory is ours! Now we simply need to put an end to our foolish opponents. <laughs> Gong Sun Yuan's entire family is to be executed. I believe his brother is in Luo Young. Do not let him get away. Do you really have to go that far, brother? I mean, it was Gong Sun Huan who told us that his brother was likely planning a rebellion and advised us how best to handle it. They may not have any intention of rebelling now, Zhao, but if we allow their blood to remain, there will come a time when they resent what has happened to their family. We must snuff out any chance of that right now. If you say so. <laughs> she... I see you have become quite merciless. I have ceded control to you, so I will refrain from criticizing your decisions. However, even if you are in the right, a lack of mercy can lead to new problems. See, brother? Even father thinks you're overdoing it. Why don't you reconsider? Father is right, certainly. But if I prove that my response to any uprising will be totally uncompromising, then fear will rule the day, and none will dare rebel. A firm hand is needed to bring peace to this land. Was that not the policy of the previous emperor, Master Cao Pi? My lord husband, you said you would leave this to Xi, and now you are interfering in his decisions. And Xi? You're so terribly stubborn. Why must the men of this family always be like this? I think that's enough, Mother. <clears throat> are you saying we are alike? 
fine. We shall see your plan through to the end. Come on, father, brother, we've done our duty. I think it's time we headed back to Luo Yang. Master Sima Yi, you did well in dealing with Gong Sun Yuan. However, while you were gone, our Imperial Highness's condition worsened, and he passed away. I see. That is most unfortunate. Master Cao Rue shared Master Cao Pi's great wisdom. This is a massive blow to Wei. Crown Prince Cao Feng is still quite young. I believe you have already heard from Master Cao Lue, but you and I are to serve as Master Cao Feng's advisors. Um, yes, I was told as much. I wish to consult you on something. Shu has long stationed troops in Hangzhou, but they have begun to pull them out recently. We have long been at war with Shu. Is this not an ideal opportunity to eliminate them for good? Hmm. That is perhaps the most idiotic idea I have ever heard. What? The reason Shu pulled out their troops from Hanshan was to station them where it is easier to receive supplies. If we attack them now, we will incur heavy losses. Uh, it doesn't matter what you think, as I have already secured permission for this attack on Shu. You will do as you're told. Hmm. Father, are we seriously going to war against Chu? We've only just put down an internal rebellion, and the East is still a long way from stability. You are right, Zhao. However, this is the decision of Master Cao Shuang. He appears to have made the arrangements while we were away. The Grand General, Master Cao Shuang. Frankly, I can't see what we have to gain from attacking Shu right now. I think Master Cao Shuang simply desires to have a military achievement under his belt. Unlike Father, who has been appointed regent alongside him, he has little battlefield experience. A military achievement? Why does it have to be military? Once the war is ended, battlefield feats won't mean a thing anyway. Hm. I do not think that imbecile is capable of such foresight. I believe the reason he is pushing for this battle is to strip me of my authority. I am certain that he was manipulated by Master Cao Cao's adopted son, Master He Yang and his followers. He used to be much more honest and straightforward. But father, if we do attack the way he wants, we will end up meeting the Shu forces at Mount Xingxi. That is a very difficult place to manipulate troops. With the inexperienced master Cao Shuang in charge, we have little chance of victory. Should we not try and find a way to avoid this? I agree with brother. I don't want to follow that idiot halfway up a mountain when I could be relaxing here in Luo Yang instead. I do not wish to participate in this pointless battle, but I cannot simply ignore Master Cao Shuang's orders. I want both of you to accompany me to Mount Xingxi. She, I see. I have heard of your exploits in defeating Gongsu Yuan. Fine work. 
So, may I ask what business you have with me? As the Grand General of the Wei Army, I am a little busy, you see. If you will forgive me, my lord, I have one or two concerns regarding our formations for this battle which I would like to raise with you. Concerns? At the present moment, our forces are heavily weighted towards the front lines. If we sustain an attack from the rear, the frontline units will be dangerously isolated. The area around Hanchong is replete with narrow alleyways and paths, and is made for surprise raids. I feel we should redistribute our forces towards the rear to guard against that. Hmm. You Sima men are all alike. With your petty concerns and tricky rhetoric, forget about enemy raids. All we need do is defeat Shu before that happens. But now you're just being unrealistic. You can't afford to underestimate the enemy like that. Listen, this battle is led by the mighty Tao clan. We will use our superior numbers to crush the enemy and win with honor. That's the way we do things. I will lead a unit on the front lines myself and raise our flag when we claim Han Zhang. You two can sit here and worry needlessly if you like. In other words, he has no particular plan and simply intends to throw his forces against the enemies. If that's all it took to defeat Shu, better men than him would have done it long ago. Indeed. I barely know what to say to such idiocy. But there is no need for us to behave as irresponsibly as him. Come. This may not be a battle we can win, but we can certainly do our best to keep casualties to a minimum. <laughs> 